This is a breadboard, and you can use it to build all these cool projects. So I got this idea to build a simple video card that can play videos, or maybe just a little GIF. Let's get started. This video card will be outputting a VGA signal, because they are pretty easy to create. And as you can see on this VGA diagram, this signal will go low during the sync pulse, and the vertical side of the screen repeats this to create a VGA signal. But you're probably wondering, how do we know the length of the sync pulses? Well, that really depends on the resolution we're using, and for this resolution, we would have to use these timings. And the way I'm going to have the signal on a breadboard is by having counters and comparators hooked together in a way to create a sync pulse at a specific timing. Next, I started building it. These three counters here will count for the horizontal timing, and these comparators next to it will also be helping time the VGA signal. And after applying my super smart method for the vertical timing, I had a working video card able to send a say 800 by 600 signal to a monitor. We need a place for the video card to store the video it's going to be playing. So for that, I'm going to be using the SSD39SF040, which is a 512 kilobyte chip. My plan is to split the memory into 8 slots, so each frame of the video can go into each slot, and then to play the video, we switch between the slots at the frame rate we want to play the video at. After getting the VRAM all wired up, I noticed that the few red pixels I told the VRAM to draw were getting duplicated everywhere. Before I continue the video, I just wanted to say that it takes a long time for me to create these videos. So if you want to support me, consider subscribing. Apparently, the VRAM chip I had was a little broken, because when I switched it out for a new one, it was still duplicating, but it was less noticeable. First, I set up this timer to count at around 8Hz for around 8FPS when playing a video and after connecting the timer to the VRAM, I was able to get an 8 frame video onto the monitor. Sadly, I wasn't able to get a real GIF onto the VRAM, so that's why I'll probably be making a second part of this video. So stick around if you want to see that. <laughs> 